Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can find cross site scripting vulnerability in live website. So if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you some more ways and some more uh, protection bypass techniques through which we can execute cross site scripting, then I recommend you to please check that out and let's get started for this video. So this time we have this target over here and the first thing that we should do is to gather all the possible URLs and the parameters related to this particular domain, right? So we can do this. Uh, by using two methods uh, the first method is using GAU get all URL and by the way if you don't know how to use GAU then I recommend you to watch my previous video in which I have shown you how we can automate the process of cross scripting by using GAU okay but for this video we, we are going to use Google Doc to identify uh, the parameters related to this particular domain so I'm just going to copy this target and we can just craft a simple Google Doc so site and in url unless i want to look for the url parameter so i'm just going to type question url equals to that's it okay and let's hit enter and let me just get rid of this very quick okay as you can see here are some urls that contains this parameter right so i'm just going to open one of these in the new tab and perfect as you can see this is the web application that we need to hunt on right so the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, analyze this url over here so we can see that there are three main parameters the url parameter that we have docked from the google the fpath parameter and the title parameter so apart from the url parameter we have two more additional parameters to test on right so let's uh, let's try to test for uh, any injection point in each of these particular parameters. So I'm just going to type Batman 1 here and I'm going to type Batman 2 here and finally I'm going to type Batman 3 here and let's see what happens. And as you can see we got an internal server error which means that there is some kind of error generated by the backend to us. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that this application is not vulnerable to cross-site scripting. So, instead of doing this, so what we have done is we have supplied the input in all these parameters at once. So, this is a very bad practice if you are hunting for uh, vulnerabilities. Instead of this, what we need to do is we need to supply each and every input one at a time in each and every parameters. So, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say, so if I am going to test for the URL parameter first, then I'm going to keep the rest of the uh, parameters value as it is. I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, we got an internal server error. So now let's try to test for this parameter F path. So I'm going to type Batman and I will leave the rest of the parameters as it is. And let's hit enter. And again, we got an internal server error. Let's head back and let's test for this parameter nine. So I'm just going to type Batman again and perfect as you can see the server didn't get us any error this time right which means that and as you can see this batman is also reflecting in the response body right so we have identified a very uh, important injection point in this application now now we have to see the source code and let us analyze where this batman is reflecting so i'm just going to view the source code and type batman over here and as you can see and as you can see it is reflecting in the table data right and after that let's see how this application is handling the dangerous characters so i'm just going to specify a less than and a greater than and a single quote and a double quote and let's see what happens and as you can see the dangerous characters are getting reflected as it is right which means that there is a high possibility of process scripting this application so let's construct a very simple payload and see whether we will get a pop-up or not. So I'm going to type script alert alert one script across and let's hit enter and as you can see it is getting reflected as it is and if I remove the view source from here perfect as you can see we successfully got an alert pop-up in the application which means that we were successfully, successfully able to inject or find a cross-site scripting vulnerability. 
So I hope you understand that how we can uh, find cross site scripting vulnerability in web applications on live websites. If you have any doubts and if I have any issues, then please let me know in the comment section. And always remember to test each and every parameter one at a time. So if you have any doubts and issues, then please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.